What's happening, YouTube? Jason Ritchie here with another Free Friday. What's Free Friday? It's a free harmonica lesson every single Friday. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them right here on this YouTube channel. Subscribe today so that you don't miss a thing. Like, leave a comment. Tell me it was no good. Tell me you loved it. Tell me a video idea. Boy, did I have a tough time coming up with a video idea today. So what are we going to do today? Well, we got a G harmonica. We're going to be in the key of A minor and we're gonna learn some gypsy jazz. So, if this is your first time hearing about gypsy jazz or any of this stuff, you're definitely gonna wanna check out my video on the harmonic minor scale. Maybe I need to even make a new one. Well, today we'll talk a little bit about the harmonic minor scale, but first and foremost, we're gonna learn how to play both the heads, the beginning head and the end head to Django Reinhardt's magnificent gypsy jazz staple classic standard minor swing. First, let's take a listen to Mr. Django playing the music. Again. How do you play that? First, we're in third position. So this is a great position for playing minor. It's probably not the easiest position to play the harmonic minor in, but we're gonna want it. Now, why wouldn't you use a minor tuned harmonica on this song? I'll tell you why, because one of the chords is major and you're gonna wanna be able to go major. Now, could you do that on a minor harmonica? Maybe, but you probably have to bend or something. Anytime you fix a harmonica to make it easier for one thing, something else becomes harder again. So today we're gonna learn it on a regular G harp in third position, A minor. How's the lick go? Well, we can learn a lot about music from the lick itself because it's exploiting minor triads at the beginning of the song. The one chord and the four chord. So in this case, it's an A minor triad followed by a D minor triad. Now, if you listen, that's not exactly how Django does it. So we're gonna learn exactly how the master did it. Right, here we go. Hear that? Okay, so what is that? So he's going four draw, five draw, six draw. And then we're gonna roll down from the minor third of four or the three half step bend. So I'm gonna go three half step bend, three double bend, two draw, three half step bend, four draw. That's the first triad. And then let's hear it again. One more. And then into the solos. Cool. Let's go to the end of the song and let's hear the second head because the second head of this song is different. The intro is different than the outro. Stefan Grappelli on the violin. Here comes a head. Something like that.
take a look at the chords and let's hear them. A minor, one, four, it's just a one, four, five, just like a blues. Five, major five, one. Now it goes four, a little different than a blues, but still blues changes. One, five, raise fifth. A look at the chords. Now everything that we need to know about this song we already learned in the last head. That's why I taught you the last head before even approaching the improv section. Probably you guys know that in jazz, the improv section is everything. We play the head just to get to the solos, right? That doesn't mean, doesn't take away from how beautiful the head is. But a lot of times we can learn a ton about what to play in the improv section by really listening to what happened in the original melody or the head of the song. In this case, it's just imperative that you study the head or at least memorize it and start to apply similar things. Even if you knew nothing about scales or arpeggios and you just learned how to play the beginning of this song, you could really put together a pretty good solo by just staying pretty close or sort of close to the notes that we played in the outro of the song or even in the intro, okay? So let's take a listen and let's see if we can just play the head of the song over each chord. So we're gonna change it up a little and I'm just gonna take what I learned from the head of the song and apply it to each chord. Now this is code, right? Because really what I'm teaching you is how to arpeggiate major and minor triads, okay? There's only one major triad, it's an E7, and it's in the chords, okay? It's the, it's the five chord. So what, what is this one, four, five thing? Really quick, right? We're in the key of A minor, so A, B, C, D is four. A is one, A, B, C, D is four, E is five. That's how we come up with this one, four, five thing. It's just good. Here we go, A minor, one chord. Four, five, one. Now to four. Back to one. Five. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna play the harmonic minor scale. So what's great about the harmonic, har, what's great about the harmonic minor scale in this song is all of the notes that we just learned for the head arpeggios are all of the notes that are included in the harmonic minor. So I'm just gonna run up and down the scale, just totally methodically. That's just the scale. So I could learn the scale and learn how to do some improv in it. Thank you. 
I could just learn the scale and that's just me playing the scale and sort of trying to observe some of the changes. But I can also just go really, really heavy and depend on those arpeggios, right? So one. so much fun really guys that's it i could go on all day i mean i could teach and i could teach on this song for hours and hours and hours and all i'd be doing is learning more i have learned so much from this lesson from getting inside of these chords from looking at the harmonic minor scale and from looking how the head relates to the entire piece of music be sure to check out the backing track below check out my videos on the harmonic minor scale and have fun. Remember, this is a tough one. Today's lesson was really, really tough. If you want to go out and buy a harmonica tune to the harmonic minor, go ahead, right? Go ahead, get in there and get out there and learn the thing. But I'm going to tell you, it's so much fun to play it on the regular diatonic. It is so much fun. You can go in and out. You can do all kinds of extra stuff. Every time you tune a harp, you make another thing harder. There's all kinds of room for overblows. You guys heard me put in that flat five, that bend six, that four overblow to get the raised fifth, right? Those are kind of things that you're going to have problems with sometimes on tuned harmonicas. Appreciate you guys. So much fun today. Gypsy Jazz, lesson one. What's better? What's better than minor swing? Nothing. Stay tuned for the crew. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right, 16 years. At this point, over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas, bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need for your amplified harmonica need. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp gear, amplifiers, they got big ones, they got small ones. You know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear, amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards. Incredible custom pedal boards, built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas. A moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the Marine Band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. 
you'll be supporting me, you'll be supporting the cause, you'll be keeping these videos free for everybody, and you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday, there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years at these videos. I had a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.